Well, hello, everybody. Jason Bornet here. Happy 9-9 of 2024. This is a very significant day in the lifespan and the history of Jeunesse Global. And I am here today to wish Jeunesse and to wish you a very happy 15th birthday for this incredible company. 9-9 of 09. That's when it all began. Randy and Wendy created a vision, a vision to share this opportunity with you and with the people that you know all over the world. And we are here today 15 years later. Most companies don't last one year. Very few companies last five years. Even fewer last 10 years. And there's only a very small percentage that ever get to 15 years. And here we are. And so I want to say thank you for Randy and Wendy. Uh, thank you for uh, instilling that dream into everybody that's on this phone and on this line and watching this here today. Uh, we are here to continue that legacy. We are here to continue that vision. I, like you, walked into an expo for the very first time. For me, for my wife, it was 2012. We walked into Expo 3 in Hong Kong, which was also in the month of September, celebrating Janessa's third birthday, third anniversary. And we were blown away, not by what we heard, because everybody spoke Chinese. The only people speaking English that day were Randy, Wendy, and maybe a few other people on the stage. Everybody else spoke Chinese. There were no translators from Chinese to English that day. And so we didn't really understand anything that was said. As a lot of you have had to experience on some of these Zooms and some of the events that you've gone to across the world over the last 15 years, but... It wasn't the words that were said that day. It was the music that we heard. It was the feeling. It was the spirit of the dreams and of the vision of all the people that were in that room. 4,000 people strong that day in Hong Kong. And that vision uh, became our vision. That feeling became our feeling. That dream became our dream. And it's been our dream ever since. And so while many of you have been here for 15 years, we've been here for 12. Uh, and it's our dream and our vision and our goal to be here many, many more times for many, many more anniversaries, many, many more birthdays. And so happy birthday, Janess. I've had the opportunity to uh, be on Zooms with you over the last few days. Uh, I've had some recordings that were sent across the world. Uh, of me and my kids. Some of you saw those as we celebrated with you in Malaysia and in different parts across the world. Uh, but I'm here today to talk to you about hope, to talk to you about the future, to talk to you about Expo coming up in October, and to let you know that our resolve, that our commitment, uh, that our feeling, that our vision, that our dream for Jeunesse has never been stronger. I know that the last three years uh, have been a very difficult time, not only within the world of Jeunesse, but in the world of network marketing as a whole, this world is ever changing. And if there's one thing I can guarantee you, something that my father and my mother and all of my mentors in business have taught me over the last 33 years is that change is inevitable and that hard times are going to come, but hard times don't last. Tough times don't last, but tough people do. And there are a lot of tough people on this line. There are a lot of rubies, a lot of emeralds, a lot of diamonds, a lot of double diamonds, triple diamonds who have gone through a very tough time. But you are still here because your resolve, because your strength is bigger than your struggle. Your struggle has become your victory in your life. And I can tell you this and promise you as I sit here today that the greatest struggle that you've gone through in this business will become your greatest victory if you just don't quit. We are moving into Expo More 2024. And there is a reason why we chose to call this event Expo More, because we believe that in Jeunesse, Jeunesse is a business. Jeunesse has some great products that have changed people's lives. But Jeunesse is more than a business. Jeunesse is more than products. Jeunesse is more because Jeunesse lives in the hearts of all the people who are watching, of all the people who have experienced our products, whose lives have been changed forever, through all the people whose bi this business has changed the course of your lives and your family's lives forever. As I sat in my sponsor's living room, when I first saw this business for the very first time, 
His name is also Jason. And I've grown to love Jason over the last 12 years. And we sat with my wife and with him in his, literally at his kitchen table. And we moved into his living room and he started to talk about the power of one, the power of one person in one family that can make the difference for that family forever. He said, in every family, there's one. And there's only one that decides to change the course of that family, who makes a decision, who plants their foot in the ground and says, I'm going to change the generational curses of my family. My family might have grown up in poverty. My family might have grown up in dysfunction. My family might have grown up in all of the things that curse family for decades and generations to come. People say that runs in my family. Well, guess out. Guess what? It runs out with you. And he looked at me and he said, are you going to be the one in your family? And I sat there with my wife. We had been married for less than two years. We had no babies like you guys have met uh, across the world now as they've traveled with us over the last two years. We didn't have anything but each other. But he looked at me, he says, are you going to be the one that changes that for your family? And I looked at him, I said, yes, I am. And I made the commitment that day to my wife. I made the commitment that day to Jason that we were going to be the ones. You see, he was the one for his family. Built a business all over the world. The sun never sets on his Jeunesse business. He's one of the top network marketers in the history of the world. Dating back to when Jesus sponsored 12. He's that guy. And we followed that guy. He said, you need to come meet Randy and Wendy. You need to come meet the people that make this business great because they're your kind of people. And we made that commitment that day. And we became the ones for our family. And I'm here today to tell you that you can be that one for your family. Many of you already are. Many of you made that decision when you saw Jeunesse to be that one for your family. And that is not ending today. That is just beginning today. Today is the first day of the rest of your life in Jeunesse Global. And I can tell you that with confidence because we are in the process of most of you know of creating a partnership, of forging forward with a partnership that is going to bring Jeunesse back to all of its glory, to bring the feeling back, to bring the products back, to bring the relationships back, to bring the foundation back that you originally built your business on, but it's going to be stronger. It's going to be better. It's going to be more relevant for 2024 than anything that you've ever seen. And your owner, Kevin, forged this relationship. He went out on blind faith. They came on blind faith. They sat down several months ago and they came to an agreement. Now that agreement is still being worked through. My hope today was to bring you the news that it was 100% done. Um, but as I have learned over the last several months that uh, with lawyers involved, things get very complicated. Uh, this is a very complicated business, not in a negative way, but in a very positive way because we've had offices and businesses and licenses for products literally that span the globe. And so it's taken a lot of time to work those things out. But I will tell you today here on 9-9 of 2024, we are very close. And this will be done. It will be a done deal. It will be literally in stone uh, over the next couple of days. And by the time we get to Expo, you are going to see a whole new vision, a whole new dream, a whole new Jeunesse, powered by an incredible company called Greenway Global. Most of you have, have had the opportunity to at least see them on a Zoom. Uh, some of you, the top leaders, your top leaders, had the opportunity to go somewhere in the world. Uh, we started off in Dubai. We went to California. We went to Canada. We've li literally traveled the world uh, to introduce them to you. We were in uh, Istanbul, uh, Turkey, uh, several weeks ago where uh, some of you got to meet Leonid, you got to meet Danny, uh, some of you got to meet Svetlana, you got to meet Isabel, you got to meet Andre and, and some of the corporate team there. Uh, and the one thing that I can say, I can say a lot, but the one thing that I'll say to you today is that you can have a great business, you can have a great compensation plan, you can have wonderful life-changing products, you can have a great culture, you can do wonderful events, you can have great travel incentives and travel programs and trips across the world. But if the wrong people are steering the ship, who don't have a vision for the future, who don't care about people, who don't put people first, then that business, as I've seen over the last 33 years in my experience in network marketing, 
will eventually go away. Uh, it's short lived. It can take off like a rocket ship and it can succeed and people can make money. But eventually, if the foundation is not strong, if the legs holding up that success and that bridge of success cannot carry the weight of that success, then that business, that bridge will crumble and they have the right legs. Uh, they know how to carry the weight. They've been doing it for many, many, many years. And they saw in Jeunesse and they saw in you a reason to invest in your future. And so I will tell you here today that that is happening. That is real. We are moving into Expo with a bang. We're going to have close to 5,000 people uh, in Singapore who all love this company, who all love these products, who love our trips, who love our culture, who love the stories, whose lives have been changed, who have become the ones in their family to change their families' lives forever at Expo More 2024. I've gotten a lot of questions. Jason, why the word more? Well, I can tell you, dating back to when I was a kid, and some of you have heard me talk about this, I come from a little town. My roots are in a little town called Thibodeau, Louisiana. Uh, and if you have never heard of it, Google it. It's not the end of the world, but you can sure see it from Thibodeau. It's a tiny little town with the nicest people and the greatest food in the world. But when I was a kid, we used to go to Thibodeau and we would go to my grandmother's house and we would walk down the street to the little convenience store and we would get some gum and some candy and a Coke or whatever. And the lady at the counter would always have something extra for us. She would have baked some cookies or some brownies at home or she had another little piece of candy and she would say, here you go, Sha." And Sha, I think means darling in French. Maybe we have to ask Danny. But she said, here you go, Sha. She says, here's a little lanyap for you. And the word was lanyap, spelled L-A-G-N-I-A-P-P-E. -E. Here's a little lanyap for you, darling. Y'all come on back, Sha. Y'all come on back next time. And we would leave and we would have always, you know, bought what we bought, but we got a little something extra. And I remember going home to my grandmama and I said, grandmama, what does lanyap mean? And she says, well, Sha, it means a little something extra, a little bit more. You see, when you come to Thibodeau and you come to Louisiana, we don't have much, but we got great foods. We got great faith. We got great family. We got great freedom. We got great people. We got great football, but we got a little bit more. And that little bit more is the lanyap. You leave feeling a little bit better because People gave of themselves a little bit more. They gave you the hospitality a little bit more. They gave you some yummy food, probably too much, and a little bit more. They, they gave you a little bit of their faith and a little bit more. You got some good football and a little bit more. And so it became a motto for my life. It became a mantra for my life that whatever you do in life, you do it, but you do a little bit more you share that opportunity and you share it a little bit more. You believe in people, but you believe in them a little bit more. You work hard, but you do a little bit more. You watch what everybody else is doing around you and you do a little bit more. You create great products and a little more. You show people that they can do it and a little bit more. And it's that little bit more. It's that Len Yap. It's believing in people more until they believe in themselves more. Like your leaders have believed in you. Like Tina, like Flora, like Jennifer, like, like, like all of your leaders. And I, again, I just want to list them all off. But Cece and, and, and Julia um, and Cindy and, and all your leadership, Yvonne, who believes in you and Tony, and, and, and Charlie and, and Helen and all the people who have believed in you more so that you'll believe in you a little bit more. And Randy and Wendy believed in you more so that you would believe in you a little bit more. And so I then read a book uh, many years later and I literally have that book in my lap and I don't get paid from this book. I have met this guy one time. He actually spoke at uh, one of my best friend's conferences and my best friend actually called that conference more. Um, and so I asked him, is it okay? Can we call our conference more? And he's like, absolutely. The more, the merrier. Because this book is called The Power of One 
more, the power of one more. And Ed in this book, and I recommend that you get it. I recommend you listen to his podcast. His name is Ed Milet. He's fantastic. I've listened to him literally every morning for the last three and a half years. And he has changed my life because all he did was talk about the same thing that changed my life as a kid, but he took it to a whole nother level. And he said, all you got to do is one more rep. If you're going to do one opportunity meeting, just do one more a week. Just do talk to one more person a day. Talk to one more person a month. Go to one more event. Listen to one more podcast. And those one mores will add up over time. They don't feel like they're making a difference, but they'll add up little by little. It adds up and it starts to compound. And all of your diamonds and double diamonds and triple diamonds, all of your leadership that have helped you and believed in you, you know what they did? They did it a little bit more. They did it one more time. So you just keep going one more time. And so why is Expo More called more? Because everybody has a more. Everybody has something that they want that they don't have. And it's different for everybody watching. It's different for everybody listening. But I want you to think about that. And I want you to think about being back in a vehicle that's gonna help that more come true for you. We're gonna unveil a whole new vision, a whole new strategy a whole new opportunity for you at More 24 in Singapore. And we hope that you will be there with us. We cannot wait to see you and share this vision with all of you. Until then, continue to share the beautiful story of Jeunesse, of where it's been, of what it's overcome, the fact that it's still here and it's still going strong, and the excitement of the future with one more person every single day. So we look forward to seeing you at more. I can't wait to give every single one of you high fives, hugs, and compliments, and believe in you a little bit more so that we can move in to the last quarter of 2024, doing more for ourselves, but most importantly, doing more for other people, sharing this opportunity more, Kiara, so we can bring more people into our business and we can touch and change more lives forever. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching wherever you are in the world. Happy birthday, Jeunesse. Happy 15. We look forward to many more birthdays with all of you. And we will see you in Singapore for more 2024. Thank you, everybody.